You need to stop jerking me around, Rufus. I can't run a factory with a gun held to my head. Come on it. Hey, uh, sorry, listen, I gotta go. I'll call you later. I didn't expect to see you here today. No. It was out on the blower. You look pretty het up. Anything I need to know? Not really. Uh, especially not after yesterday. Yes, well, yesterday was yesterday, and uh, I can... I can assure you that there won't be any repeat. I am grateful for what you did, but... Um, if I said anything odd, I apologize. Well, I, I know you want yourself, so... Uh... Yes, well, I am now, so there's nothing to do with today's graft in here won't cure, is there? Are you sure? And there's nothing in the diary. Why don't you go home and get some rest? Because I don't... don't need to. Honestly, you and Peter. Well, we both have your best interests at heart. Yes, well, so do I, you know. After all, this place is my livelihood, believe it or not, and so I'd rather be at the wheel. But you should be prioritizing your health. And I am. It's better for me to be in here than sitting around wondering what's going on in my absence. Don't worry, everything will be absolutely fine, Stephen. Hey. Hey, love. You have to come rushing over. Oh, don't be daft. I came as soon as I got the text. Are you okay? No, I don't think so. How did you cut your finger? Uh, it's a broken mug. It looks worse than it is. I tried my best, but I'm now Florence Nightingale. I can't even make a cup of tea. Oh, hey, come on. Accidents happen, right? Yeah, yes, yeah. they do. The point is, it shouldn't have done. Just, I'm not coping. What's happening to me, Peter? You've been driving yourself too hard. Hey, listen, I've been telling her this, but will she listen to me? All right. She wants to help you. Right, uh, I think in the meantime, you should get your home. Yeah. Come on. Oh, uh, hand, handbag. Yeah. You're losing it to forget that. And uh, get some rest. Don't give this place a second thought. I can hold the fort. Hey, uh, hey, listen. How's Carla doing? Oh, well, I finally managed to get her to take a diazepam. I put her to bed, and she's sparking. Uh, did you see the doctor? Oh, yeah, well, for all the good it did. She couldn't help? No, nothing beyond another prescription, but it's not her fault. You know, her hands are tied, but Carla needs to be seeing a mental health specialist today, not in however many weeks it's going to take for an appointment to come through. Well, is, isn't there some kind of facility she could go to? No, not unless she's a danger to herself or other people, by which time it's going to be too late. Ah, ah it's frustrating, isn't it? Yeah. Listen, I... I I'd better make a move. I've got stuff to do. I've got to pick a prescription up from the hospital. But listen, thanks for all your help. Anytime. Uh, take care. Okay.
They are up to something. Excuse me? Mm, Carla could always tell. Carla? Tell what? When they're planning, scheming, having secret little conversations in dark little corners. I mean, it's, it's usually about a pay rise, but we'll soon find out, because they want something. Oh. They're not the only ones who want something. Uh, we need to talk about Carla. <clears throat> Can we have a quick word, please? Won't take long. Oh, really? Uh, just a minute, please. So I saw Peter, and he's really worried. Carla's been put back on her medication. Now, I'm not sure what that means, but uh, I'm sure it's not a good sign. I didn't realize it was that bad. Yeah, well, I wasn't here when she had her last breakdown, but I think it's pretty serious. We may need to think about making some changes if she's going to be out of action for some time. Oh, uh, please, I, I hope you'll respect uh, Carla's privacy. You know, the last thing she needs is everyone gossiping about her. Absolutely. Do I even have to ask? <laughs> Sorry, what was it you wanted to ask? Oh, the uh, toaster's broken. The toaster? Yeah, the little, the little light don't come on. Mm. And more importantly, it has ceased to toast. Okay, yeah, no, no worries, we'll get it sorted. Okay. Done. <clears throat> the toaster? That's all they want. No, that is just for starters. Listen, I, I need to nip out for a bit. Uh, you can handle the, the toaster issue. <laughs> Sorry, can we have another quick word, please? Sure. What can I do for you? I, I gather we uh, we have a new toaster? Oh, yeah. Uh, so what we were thinking was, we were thinking that we'd like you and Sarah to run the factory. <laughs> Are you all agreed to this? Mm-hmm. All of us. Yes, we've all agreed. And we just presumed that Sarah would agree, too. So, you see, the thing is, what we think is, it's just... Well, it's just in Carla's best interest, and whatever is in Carla's best interest is best for the factory. Um, well, I have to admit, uh, I'm quite moved. Humbled, even, that you would, you would put your trust in me, and I, I promise I will do my very best to uh, make this business a success. Great. Well, isn't that great? <laughs> well, I, I will uh, need you all to sign a, a legally binding contract, but, uh, well, just to improve the situation, it's a, it's a mere formality. Right then, yeah. yeah. That's fine. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay then, we'll be off. Okay. What's all that about? More trouble with the workforce. Well, you, you were right. They did want something, and uh, I have given in to all their demands. <laughs> 